What's going on everybody? So I'm not exactly sure where I left this off. Uh, I'm pretty sure it has something to do with the wheels going on and everything. Uh, it's been a couple weeks now. Uh, as you probably can see, the leaves are starting to change behind me. Uh, I've just been getting over a cold. So and I'm slowly starting to get cracking back on the trailer. So last I left it, I'm pretty sure I was doing the wheels. I made the tilt, the, the actual bed tilt. Um, just finalizing some little bits and pieces that I haven't painted yet. I'm going to be painting the front today, uh, getting it up, getting it scraped down, getting it prepped. Uh, I bought new hardware for the flooring, which I'm not exactly going to be putting on quite yet because I want to get the electrical part ran. Um, just want to finalize a couple bits and pieces, uh, get all the lug nuts on. I didn't have a full set of lug nuts for it. I was kind of making do with uh, two on each wheel. So the only issue that I'm having right now is one wheel spinning freely now it's just kind of the way that the pivot's sitting in the center there um it's not giving contact all the way down my dad's saying that it probably will straighten itself out once there's weight on the trailer but because it's kind of sitting sitting high and sitting proud um that it'll come back down once i load the jenny up on it for its first time but yeah, so cleaning up all this junk, uh, peeling the battery box off, scraping everything down, pulling the connectors and everything out from inside the box, and then getting it all scraped down, prepped and painted. So that's my goal for at least today. Um, I'm going to be lubing up and putting the new pins in the back. Uh, but of course, that'll be after everything's painted. So don't mind the compressor noise, but here's what it looks like with the bed up, right? So I'm painting it, that's why it looks kind of like shit right now, right? So here's the back half. That's the reason why I bought it right there. The best part is too, is that the nose of the trailer is down all the way, so this can actually technically go lower. Okay. <clears throat> the horses. Horses? Where are the horses? Where are the horses? logic it should work right In theory Not quite. Thank 
we may have to uh, <clears throat> massage them in there. No, this here. <laughs> beat this oh, out. beat this out. Oh, yeah. These, these grommets, you just slit them. You can put it in there and whatever. So there's their wooden floor. Had to bang out a dent that was over here. I was keeping the wood from going all the way down. So we have it mounted. So then all the power wire is gonna run in through this grommet here, which obviously you change out, because this is just a face. And then tie them in, and then put them all to their regular spot. So there's um, trailer brakes, signals, um, tail lights, like a running light. Um, this is for charging a battery uh, for the emergency brake. The emergency trailer brakes and then grounds and okay so basically wrote everything down here um, all the wires I'm gonna basically be using um, these two I'm not really worried about chassis ground lights auxiliary and brake um, unfortunately when we put the little floor in I covered up the hole so either I'm gonna have to hone the hole out in the metal or cut it out in the wood um, so now I'm just going to be running wiring, which you've seen the red over there. So I'm going to be running all new wiring, all color coded. That way it's easily diagnostic, or for e easy diagnostic. Like um, green is your running lights, trailer brake, um, right turn signal. Red is my left turn signal. White's going to be my ground. Uh, purple, I don't know what I'm going to use it for. I probably won't. But. Um, yeah, I just want it so that way it fits like a uh, turn signal issue. Like um, the left side isn't working. I know it's going to be in the in the red, so I'll just check my wiring. I'm going to be running the wiring all back into the same little P-clamps with different loom that I have from my uh, Dakota. Got my center light there done. My taillights are all switched over. Um, just starting on the wiring now. Which is going to be a very time consuming process, so I'm not going to bother you guys with it. So then in here, it doesn't look very nice, but that's going to be our ground. My dad's just grabbing a socket for it. And then I got to loom all the wiring. But yeah, so trail brakes I haven't ran yet. Signal, signal, running light, and the grounds. protect it yeah okay so as you guys seen all the lights work so I'm just going to tape bundle all the wiring uh, zip tie where it needs to be zip tied and then I've got blue wire loom from so as you can see leaves are changing falls coming um, it's a bombing eight degrees Celsius today and uh, we're out here finishing up the wire loom problem is, is when I was able to start working on it, it was after work, so uh, I ran out of sunlight pretty quickly. So I got pretty much halfway done. I got this front half to do, all the way up to the box, and then 
finish up the trailer brake wiring and then I gotta move the taillights and then the floor can go on. So I got a little bit of work to do today, so. So don't mind the mess, but uh, the wires ram. I put a chunk of uh, loom on both sides. That way the core doesn't get damaged. This is all buttoned together, uh, the loom going out. Uh, put a little bit of gasket maker in there and on the other side, as you can see, it is all ran. Woo. Now it's not all blue. I uh, had leftover chunks from my truck build. So the back here, it's black and then it goes blue all the way back. All that stuff. Uh, trailer brakes are wired, adjusted, and the magnets all work. We backed the truck up and tested it. Uh, tucked all the wires up nice and neatly. Um, I mean, it's not pretty, but you're also not going to see it. So, other than this stuff here, you're going to see that because this is all open. So now, um, I had to drill and move the plate, or not the plate, the taillights. So now, I just got to put the floor on. This is the exciting part. This is what I'm looking forward to the most. Now, the fenders aren't painted right now, um, only because I wasn't sure what I was going to do with them. They're beat. They're kind of bruised. Um, I was going to either replace them or try and save them. Um, that one over there has a hole in it, so I think in the spring I might weld a plate on it and then paint it black. Um, but yeah, probably in the spring I'm going to paint these. Just, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe a fenders go cheap at Princess Auto or something, and so those are my only question, or my only question mark. But, uh, yeah, the rest, is, the rest of it's good to go. I'm going to be just kind of finishing up a little bit of tape work, and then put the floor on. Oof. Now I understand why my back hurt. I just ripped through uh, 75 bolts all through here. The one right there lost its threads. But, yeah. And I'm still missing some for the front. Let alone, I haven't even touched this side yet. Nor the ramp isn't done yet either. So, definitely dropped the ball there. Um, so this looks like it's going to be a trip to home hardware. So I can get the remainder of the bolts. So it's a super quick little video, just simply on the fact of it's like freezing out today. We got the jack on. Took the old one off, so I'm gonna tuck the wire. The floor is on both sides. It's got some final bits and pieces I gotta do. But it's done. So I gotta paint the fenders and stuff, but I'm basically done with it for now until the snow's gone. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.